I just want to know what the hell is wrong with everyone. Like, seriously, what 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 is wrong with everybody? You guys act like Republicans go to companies and whisper in their ear, hey, keep your prices down. And Democrats go to companies and hey, hey, say they say, hey, raise your prices. You act like Republicans keep inflation down. Democrats raise inflation. Somebody's going to go, well, yeah, their policies do that. No, it doesn't. If anybody remembers the Great Depression, you know, thing called history, you would notice a trend upwards, no matter who was in office. Prices, inflation, policies affect these things? No, no, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say it again. Companies set prices. There's your inflation. And they do this before they put their products out in the market. There's your supply and demand. Somebody's gonna now go, well, look at what's going on in Russia. Look at what's going on in Russia. The world finally got fed up and said, you know what? I don't think we wanna do business with you anymore. And that's what crumbled their economy. It wasn't inflation. It wasn't supply and demand. It wasn't a supply chain. They did something incredibly stupid. For those of you who don't know, you live under a rock somewhere. I'm talking about invading Ukraine. They did something incredibly stupid and the world said, hey, you know what? Yeah, we don't want to do business with you anymore. Your money is worthless here. It wasn't inflation. It wasn't supply and demand. It wasn't a supply chain. It was just people being sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's what needs to happen from country to country. When you guys are ready, check out my other videos. I keep explaining these things. No one seems to understand that inflation is that point in time where rich people get richer. Because they're the ones who keep profiting. If you haven't noticed, the thing that I left out that keeps rising no matter who's in office is profit. Stock value goes up, profit goes up. These things don't care. There's a reason when you go to the supermarket, there's an aisle full of bread. Different companies who all sell bread at different prices. And then you go to another supermarket, those same bread companies are all set at different prices again. While one supermarket might even have a sale, two loaves of bread for a dollar. The other one will sell one loaf of bread for two fifty. Because companies set prices. Now, I did get the argument of, well, this all has to do with uh, cost of living. And that's true, but what some of you don't seem to understand is that your cost of living isn't only dependent on where you live. It's dependent on who lives around you, depending on what counties you're at, what states you live in, what states are around you. Let me explain. There is, I don't wanna say more people or more profit, but there's more money flowing through certain blue states than there are red states in America. Now, the reason certain states People who live in certain states don't have to pay certain taxes is because people in other states pick up the slack because your economy is not as big as their states. See, that's why it's called the United States. Everyone's helping each other out. So you get the benefit of not paying certain taxes because other people pick up the slack. And as much as people like to scream how Democrats are so horrible, guess who's picking up the slack? Now you might say that, no, no, this isn't true, but go look it up. You pay federal, state, you pay federal and state tax. The state tax, where you live, you have to pay to upkeep the state, yes? 
Okay, well, the federal government collects a tax also, and that money is distributed to where it needs to go. That's the reason why when some places have hurricanes, there's money there to help them out. Even though some assholes like to vote against helping other states out until their state needs a help, the helping hand. So you, you better understand how this really, really works because it's, it's not funny anymore, it's not cute. At this point, somebody, if you're still watching, you're gonna go, okay, well, what's the answer? Now, the answer has always been not to raise minimum wage, it's to lower the cost of living. And that starts with real estate. I've done the real estate videos already. When you paying for space, because that's what real estate is, you're paying for space, that's all you're paying for. If your space doesn't get any bigger, why the hell are you paying more money? Very few people in, in this country rent or buy a new house or apartment. But yet the value of this, no, let me correct myself because I did this video before too. The price of these things go up. The value doesn't go up. Go check out my other video. I did that. I explained how the value doesn't actually go up. But I'll do a quick summary right now. The value doesn't go up because of inflation. The money has less value today than it did yesterday. Therefore, that the, the money you are taking when you sell a house today doesn't go as far in the world as it did yesterday. That's why the value of real estate doesn't really go up. Only the price. Back to the economy. I seem to be one of the few people who, who seem to understand that the more that people can easily afford to live, the more that they can spend money on whatever garbage it is you're selling. Because let's be honest, I did this video also. The economy, and when I say the economy, I mean the world. 90% of it is based on luxury spending. Going places you don't need to go and spending money on things you don't need to spend it on. It's the reason people have 20 pairs of shoes and three cars, clothes with tags still on them in the closet. We've all heard people. I just came from this place. We've all heard people. You got a gym membership you never use. So what's the answer? The answer is lower the cost of living. Again, it starts with real estate. Real estate people hate me when I do those real estate videos and that's fine. But if you raise minimum wage and people start making more money, the only thing that happens is prices go up and you continue the cycle over and over and over and over. But then again, that's what human beings do. They do the same stupid thing over and over and over and over. And they expect a different result. Hmm. What's that definition again? Never mind. But you see, we live in a world full of godly people who just chase materialistic things. So that's where we are. When you start to understand that no matter how cheap or expensive your car is, you still have to drive by the same rules of the road as everyone else, maybe then you'll start to understand what I'm talking about. When you start to realize that the brand you think is so great and expensive actually makes a cheaper brand just as good, maybe then you'll start to understand what I'm talking about. But until then, you're gonna have people in government continuing to fool you. They're gonna, they're gonna tell you shit like, hey, hard work and perseverance is what got you the way you are. But then they're gonna turn around and tell you, hey, our policies did that. Explain that. Explain that because that, that's what happens in government. People wanna take credit for lower inflation, lower prices, but yet tell you that you're the ones running the business. What? 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 Does, does that make any sense to anybody? Is this clicking in your head at all? 
I've done this video before also. There is no such thing as self-made. It does not exist. People work for you, people work with you. People have to buy whatever crap you're selling. You don't have all these people in line, you ain't shit. You cannot be a boss without employees. You cannot be a boss without customers. It doesn't work that way. It never has, it never will. But you've got assholes out here telling you, hey, you can be self-made. No, you can't, no one is self-made. No one in this world gets to anything on their own. Again, this is something that I shouldn't have to tell the godly people of this world either. I've said this before, I don't wanna do these videos. If this world was a different place, I would not be doing these videos at all. I'd be somewhere sipping on a rum and coke. But I got a little time, I'm waiting right now till my food is ready. So I make these videos. Do do whatever you want with these videos. I don't care because it really doesn't matter. You're going to listen to me, maybe agree, maybe disagree. But let's be honest, no matter what's going on in the world, you're going to go back to doing whatever it is you do. Okay. I I'm going to leave you with this. There was a quote by uh, George Carlin. I think it was. Yeah, George Carlin. I think I actually posted this. And it said, um, I'm going to paraphrase, but the gist of it is basically to question everything. Here's the problem with that. When you question everything, you never get any answers. So the answer isn't to question everything. The answer is actually recognize the scale. So let me just do this part again, because I've done this video also. Haven't you ever noticed that no matter what's going on, war, famine, disease, racial tension, police brutality, riots, whatever it is, no matter what's going on in this world, it, it's nuclear threats. No matter what's going on in this world, it is always a good time to buy a house. Recognize the scams. Now, before one of you jumps on me and goes, well, what's wrong with owning things? I've done that video too. I don't know what your definition of ownership is, but you better look at it again. But none of this matters. None of it matters. Nothing that I say matters. Nothing that anybody say will ever matter because two minutes after watching this video, you're going to forget everything I said and go about doing whatever it is you do. You're going to go post on social media or go out to dinner or whatever it is thing you do and you're going to forget all about this because that's what everybody does horrible news story lasts a couple of days and then everybody goes about their business all that protesting that was going on after the George Floyd murder and yeah the term is murder what changed Tell me what changed. So to answer that person's question who asked me, what can they do? You can change yourself, but unfortunately this is a group effort. This is a collective group effort. So you can change yourself, but as far as changing things, there's really nothing you can do because people are gonna go about their selfish business. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all do it. Hell, I do it myself. The part that really, really bothers me is that no one seems to understand these things. And I really, honestly, I swear to you, I don't understand why any of this needs to be explained. I really don't. So I don't know what else to tell you guys. Take the information, do whatever you want with it. Because if you believe that certain political parties keep prices and inflation down and other political parties raise prices and inflation, then I got news for you. You believe in some kind of ism that you were told to be scared of. 
because that is not capitalism. Recognize the scams. It's as simple as that.